Hey everybody and welcome back to Droobs Vids and today we're going to be playing Never Have I Ever Pop Collector Edition. Alright guys, so the homie beer Pop Hunter tagged me in doing this video here. He did one recently and it was hilarious. Pretty cool questions and I think I answered these questions on Instagram before but I didn't actually give an explanation to them or anything like that. We're going to go through all these questions, add up our total one point for each question that pertains to us or me and see how many we got from there. I think he was guessing I'd definitely be in the 20s and that's probably correct. So let's go ahead and get into these questions. I'll put them up here on the screen for you guys so you can see all the questions. Go ahead and take a screenshot of it. You can follow along with me. But yeah, we'll go ahead and start moving down the list. And at the end of the video, I'm going to be nominating a few other YouTubers to participate in this. And there are quite a few questions here, but let's just go ahead and roll into it. I got it on the laptop pulled up. So first one would be, never have I ever woken up early to score a convention exclusive. Yes, I have done that. Basically, before any major convention exclusive, I have a list of pops I want. And I do get up early and I do get to the stores early to get those convention exclusive. Just the shared ones. I don't go to the conventions. But yeah, I do get up early and I do go to the store. Okay, so next question is, never have I ever taken a pop out of its box? Well, if you're new to the channel, you know, this question might be, you know, one of the things that might surprise you. But if you've been watching the channel for a while, you guys already know what I do over here. And yeah, opening up pops and taking them out of box is nothing new to the channel. You know, we do it all the time with no remorse because I like to show you guys a closer look at these things but you know eventually all good things must come to an end right so yeah I mean super simple to open them up to take them out the box right there and then just go ahead and stick it into the camera right bang pop out of the box that's how we do it over here you know I got to go ahead and plug this if you guys are new to the channel or you're watching this video or channel for the first time go ahead hit that subscribe button hit that like button got some awesome content for you guys coming up might not be pop related might not be what you're looking for, but hey, you never know. You might end up enjoying what I have for you. All right, so next one is going to be never have I ever driven more than an hour to buy a pop vinyl. And I have done that. And technically, I know Beard Pop Hunter answered this question, said he hasn't driven, but he's rode for more than an hour to a store to get a pop. So I'm just saying, but yeah, definitely have done this before, you know, especially going to smaller conventions and stuff like that out of state. I definitely drive more than an hour. I remember I drove to two hours to Richmond just to buy the 10 inch Hulk pop. But yeah, those days are behind me. Next up is never have I ever said the words. I just don't have enough space. And I think anybody that collects will say this at some point in their collecting life. So yes, I have never have I ever scrutinized every last inch of a box to make sure there are no scuff scrapes, tears, etc. in full view of the person you bought it from, man. So my Hot Topics and Box Lunch out here. You know, they all know me, Bella Books, Comments, and Toys. Basically all my local stores, GameStops, they know who I am and they know exactly what I'm looking for if I'm picking up a pop. So yes, I do it all the time. Never have I ever justified blowing your budget because you really needed a pop. And this is actually something I haven't done because I budget four pops per paycheck. So that way, you know, I have X amount that I'm willing to spend, you know, for that two weeks. So. Yeah, it's just something I get used to if you want to manage your money correctly. That's just my opinion. But yeah, I set aside a certain amount for collectibles and things like that. So that was the first note to the questions. And our total right now is five in the yes column, one in the no column. All right, so moving on. Never have I ever complained about flippers. Well, for a while there I did. So yes, I have. But then at a certain point, you come to realize that flippers are the necessary evil in any type of collecting community. Because if you want anything you own to go up in value, there's gonna be some sort of flipping, whether you buy cars, buy homes, you know, anything like that. There's always gonna be flippers and those flippers is what drives that third party price. While most people don't like them because of how they operate, at the same time, they are necessary in a collecting community. All right, so never have I ever remarked, I wish they made a pop vinyl of insert character already. So. Yeah, I've done this. I think a ton of people have done this. Basically everyone that collects pops has done this or, you know, possibly figures in general, because once you like a line and you really enjoy that, you definitely want to see more of it and more characters from it. So yeah, definitely done that. Never have I ever submitted a fanatic of the week entry and I have not actually done this. So yeah, just 
no, I had no interest. So we got two in the no column right now, and we got a total of seven in the yes column. So next up is never have I ever walked around a store more than once looking for a chase. Yeah, of course I've done this, you know, especially back when we had Toys R Us because, you know, they don't necessarily put all their stock out at once. They might do it at certain times. You might have missed some, they might have end caps, etc., etc., that you missed. So yeah, you do tend to go back and see if you missed anything. So not a big deal, definitely done this before. All right, so next up is never have I ever paid for a subscription box. And I actually technically didn't pay for a subscription, but I have bought the Disney boxes from Hot Topic when they went to Hot Topic. So I guess you could say yes, but I'm going with no on this because I actually didn't pay for the subscription. Oh, these numbers are starting to add up. We're at three in the no column, eight in the yes column. So never have I ever made a pop avatar of yourself. Yes, I have. If you guys have been with the channel for a while now, you will remember that my original logo, like way, way back in the day, like over two years ago, was a pop avatar of me. And I've made a recent one, maybe like whenever the Funko app came out, just because I, I didn't want that little icon up there. So I, I made a new avatar for it. But yeah, I've definitely made this. And I think a lot of people, when they first start collecting pops, they tend to go and make one. All right, so this next one is pretty interesting. Not really, but it's never have I ever bought a shelf specifically for your pop figures. I mean, no, I have not done that. One more for the yes column. Okay, so never have I ever gotten into a pointless argument with another collector online. And absolutely I have, especially being on a YouTube channel, putting out pop videos like I was before. I definitely got into a bunch of, I want to say arguments because, you know, people try to argue their point and yet I'm very, very opinionated. So I pretty much shut it down all the time. So I guess you call that argument, but yeah, I guess I've done it. All right, so never have I ever downloaded the Funko app. Yes, I have. I actually have it now going through the collection, seeing what I'm going to keep and seeing what I'm going to let go. So be sure to look out on my Instagram stories to see what pops I'm going to be letting go. So never have I ever made a close friend through Funko. Yeah, I've made a bunch of friends through Funko and I actually have some close friends now through Funko and that's pretty awesome. You know, the community's always been good to me. I've never had an issue with the community as far as when people talk about how toxic it is and stuff like that never experienced that and i'm happy i haven't experienced that but yeah i've definitely made a lot of friends through funko never have i ever had an item sell out in your cart right as you're going to pay man this happens all the time on the funko shop especially when it's something that you actually really want nine times out of ten everybody else wants it too so yeah it's gonna sell out really quick and yeah i've missed out on a few pops never have i ever paid extra for a box with a certain sticker I actually have not because I am not a sticker collector. So yeah, I mean, you know, different sticker variants are cool or whatever, but I'm not worried about if it comes from the convention or if it's a shared exclusive. You know, to me, it's just a sticker. It's the pop that really matters. In my opinion, I think a lot of people lose focus on that in particular. So yeah, definitely not something that I do. Like I even have the original Sage of Naruto with just the special edition sticker. And I think that's fine. So yeah, definitely something I haven't done. So we got four in the no column right now, and we got a total of 13 in the yes column. And we're actually getting down to the last few questions here. So let's go ahead and knock these out. Never have I ever complained about how pointless a release was, then bought it anyway. Yeah, I feel like this is something that I do quite often just because I'm winding down from collecting pops and getting into much higher in figures, so to speak. So yeah, I, I do this all the time. And you know, just some characters that they make for certain lines, in my opinion, don't really need to be made, but they make it anyways. And then the inner completionist in you wants to have that pop just to have that set on the back of the pop is be complete. So yeah, I've done this. All right, this is one for most pop collectors here is never have I ever used pop price guide. Yes, I've used pop price guide before there was a Funko app, before there was that other app before Funko. I don't remember what the name was, but it was a much better app than Funko was at the time. And even now, it was still a better app. But yeah, I use Pop Price Guide and I still use it now uh, with the Funko app. So yeah, I kind of use both in tandem. All right, so the next one's a little interesting. It's never have I ever paid a crazy amount for shipping. So now if you talk about crazy amounts, I don't know, shipping to me is usually like six, seven bucks, something like that. And I guess anything over than that would be considered a lot or crazy, probably be $20 range. So theoretically, yes, I have because I've shipped pops to international countries because of giveaways and stuff like that. So technically I paid a crazy amount for shipping. Uh, things that I get for myself, I have not. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put a one in the yes column because I paid crazy amounts for shipping, but just not for anything for myself. Never have ever received a pop as a gift. Yes, I have. I've received plenty of pops, especially from all you guys. And you know, I keep all those and I've gotten pops for my birthday, gotten pops, you know, just in the mail randomly, gotten pops for conventions and stuff like that. And it's really appreciative. So you guys are awesome. And yes, I've gotten pops as a gift. Never have ever bought a pop as a gift. Yes, I have bought a pop as a gift as well. It kind of goes both ways, you know, you get something from somebody and you always want to give back. Not necessarily just giveaways that I do buy things for, for the giveaways, but you know, I bought friends personally, pops and stuff like that, you know, family members, whatever. So yeah, I've definitely bought pops as a gift. Oh, last three, here we go. Never have I ever bought a Funko related item of clothing. This was the wrong shirt to wear for this video. Never have I ever eaten Funko's cereal. I actually have and I dedicated a whole video to it back when it first came out. I got the Jason Voorhees cereal. I seen it at FYE, bought it, filled up a shark head shaped bowl and ate it right here on camera. Well, in the old setup, but yeah, ate it right on camera, made a video. I think a lot of you guys actually enjoyed it. I think a lot of people watched that one and you know, kind of thought it was interesting to see what I had to say in regards to the cereal. So yeah, definitely had the cereal. Probably not gonna eat it ever again, but yeah, I've had it. So this last question is a little complicated, I guess you could say. And that last question is, never have I ever told people you're quitting and then bought another pop. All right, so I haven't come out and said 100% I am quitting. Yes, I've said I'm slowing down. Uh, yes, I've said I'm not picking up certain pops anymore, but I haven't come out and said I quit completely. So I'm gonna put a no in this one because I've never said I'm completely 100% quitting and went out and bought another pop. Have I bought pops that I said I wouldn't buy? Yeah, but especially recently, but yeah, I mean, I've not said I'm quitting and went out and bought another pop. So for this particular question here, I'm gonna put a one in the no column. All right, so there folks, I'm done with all the questions here and adding up the total. I actually have six in the no column, 20 in the yes column. So technically Bearded Pop Hunter was right. I am 20s in the yes, but you got a lot of no's on there too compared to a lot of people. And shout out to the homie Cletus Selden. He's the one that made this list up from what I understand. So I'll be leaving a link down in the description below to Bearded Pop Hunter and Cletus Selden's channel. So go check them out. Awesome collectors, awesome guys. Now I'm gonna nominate a few people here to do this video as well that I know collects pops. So we're gonna go ahead and hit up the Funko Cop. We're gonna hit up Dark Sage Collectibles and the Homie Nakama Collectibles. So you guys go over to one of the videos, let them know I challenged them. I'm gonna reach out to them on my own and let them know. So if you guys watched the whole video and you've actually listened to the questions and kind of marked your own columns off, let me know in the comments below what your numbers were as far as yeses and nos go. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for the video, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more content, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video.